Hi guys, hope all of you are doing good and there have been a lot of confusion regarding the new guidelines which were provided by Smart India Hackathon 3 days before regarding the no internal hackathon guideline, regarding the guideline where one team can submit multiple ideas, lot of doubts and clarifications were raised in the previous video and in this video we are going to talk about it in detail. Along with that we are going to talk about the idea submission process on how you can stand out the competition and before getting into the video, a short promo. Smart India Hackathon laid out two important news apart from the data extension. One was the internal hackathon is no more mandatory and it has been made optional. Two was that one team can submit multiple ideas and there were a lot of questions raised that okay that is not even mentioned in the official site and where did you get the information it's fake info and a lot of stuff and before uh, getting into the explanation I want to say one thing that whatever content we are putting here doesn't come without careful verification so we ensure that whatever content we put is legit and that's why we hold your trust here and we received a lot of uh, comments associating with us our college is not believing it what should we show as a proof for that and stuff like that so regarding the internal hackathon optional thing it's already mentioned in the official site itself and moreover they'll be receiving mail stating that i think the current count is 90 plus 10 rather than the initial procedure where 30 teams would be shortlisted with respect to the internal hackathon that is one guideline you can confirm it with your college spoc and the second thing the most important one where one team can submit multiple ideas you would have received a mail regarding the credentials for logging into the smart india hackathon portal i think it will be received in the team leader mail if you check that mail in the last two paragraphs it would have been clearly mentioned that one team can submit multiple ideas i think you would have missed it or not and moreover in the team leader portal itself if you log in and check you can see that there's an option where idea submitted s which means that we can submit multiple ideas and i have also verified it with multiple students who have submitted uh, two three ideas and stuff and that's how you can talk to your college with the credentials mail as well as the internal hackathon uh, regulation which is given in the official site itself and that's enough nothing much is needed for that and uh, now comes the important part of this session that is the process of the idea submission and how to stand out let's get into the video so guys what we see here is the screen which you get after logging into the smart india hackathon portal so i got it from one of my juniors so that i can make it clear to you on what exactly you have to do so these are all the details you'll be getting the team details the consent letter all will be there in the first uh, tab and then comes the idea submission portal then view submitted idea and all this stuff sent out so you go to the idea submission thing and you select any one idea it may be whatever the problem statement it is so let me select some uh, random problem statement smart nepity this seems good okay let me just select that okay so these are all the things details that you provide and this is the thing that is going to get you into the finale okay so think it in that perspective so let's discuss each section one by one first is the idea title so what i would suggest here is don't just leave with your uh, title name your product name or something like that give a powerful tagline so what we did was our product's name was OTH one time handshake and it's basically an authentication mechanism. So what tagline we put was one stop authentication mechanism to revolutionize tech world. So that was what we put actually. So you can put something more powerful or something like that. That time we had no chat GPT or Google bar or something like that. So now you just even if you take this problem statement and put in uh, chat GPT and ask for a powerful tagline, it will give you something stunning. So you use the, uh, these AI tools for researching and getting a proper idea title and it will also help you in idea description and abstract that which we are going to talk next. So what is the difference between idea description and abstract? This has been a question that has been raised uh, a lot. Okay. So let me explain you what an abstract is. An abstract is actually a short summary of your product on what you are doing and what exactly your product does. While an idea description is a detailed explanation of your product. It's basically what you're giving in your PPT you are going to explain in the idea description. So it may be the solution, it may be the use cases, the showstopper, the technology stack, the detailed process flow, how your product works. All this comes in the idea description. So let me show you the abstract which we actually submitted. Okay, so this was the abstract which we submitted actually. 
so basically what's the problem what our product is doing what solution we are providing this is the overview of the abstract which we sent actually i will provide it in the link as well for your reference and this is what we copied and pasted and submitted as well and for the idea description like what you have to do is as i said a detailed overview of a product so if you have an abstract that is enough for enhancing it so use powerful words okay don't be like too general like two simple words but the, as an evaluator the perspective will be that okay he's doing something simple nothing unique so you are bringing an innovation that you are going to represent here okay so that is the best thing and then comes the idea template that is basically the ppt which you are doing so we would have talked a lot about it actually. and i think it's video number four for drafting and winning ppt so you can refer that for creating a strong presentation and now comes the important part so many asked how we can stand out the competition. There are a lot of people registering for the process. And I also saw that each problem statement are having 100, 100 plus registrations. Last time we had only 15 teams to get shortlisted for the finale from the internal hackathon and stuff. But now anyone can register, any team can register. So the counts will skyrocket. So you need to stand out as a competition. So the other document optional here and the YouTube link optional. Most people leave it as optional saying that, okay, it's, not, it's given optional, so why should I do it? That is how most people think. So in the other document, what I can suggest is have a proper business model. So what we did was we submitted a business model actually of how our product, the revenue model and stuff. And about that, we would have explained in video number six. So if you want a reference on how to make a business model for Smart India Hackathon, you can check that as well. And apart from that, you can have a detailed report of your product like uh, uh, IEEE paper or something like that. You can create that kind of structure. That is also uh, preferable. It's totally up to you. Or a process flow diagram that is detailed in brief each process, explaining each working and stuff and all. So it's totally up to you, but don't leave it blank. That's what I would say. Then comes the YouTube link optional. So people who have built the prototype or having a base level of prototype, for them it would be easy because they will be putting that link, uh, they will be uploading in YouTube, they will make it as unlisted and share the link. And that is how uh, it works, okay. But what about the people who don't have a proper prototype in hand now before submission? And we were in that stage as well, okay. So what I did was, I recorded a video explaining the idea, the solution, and then what our product does using icons and animations and stuff. And I was able to retrieve that video for you. And let me just uh, show an overview of it, okay? Not uh, too much detail and stuff. So first I'll be explaining about uh, what the problem is. Okay, that is how I'll be explaining in the start. Then I'll be explaining about what the solution is. And then how it works. I'll be using certain animations. This is how the authentication works. This comes from there, from the server, this passes and stuffs everything that can be understandable. Okay, and this is how we have represented. And I think you are able to see that in the screen. And this is more than enough, to be honest, because it is the initial stage and I will be providing this uh, video link also for your reference. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done uh, to that level one year before. Like, so I hope it will be useful at some stage for you. And this is how to make a perfect uh, idea submission. Okay, so when as an evaluator, when a person evaluates, he's going to see the novelty of the idea. Okay, how new is your idea? And then the long-term goal, what is your plan? Because most people bring an idea just for a hackathon and that comes as a negative point here. Okay, because in the PPT itself, in the template it is written i think it's point number four or five it is written that the teams which have a business ideas which have a business model have an upper hand so why miss that opportunity so each one of this can increase your chances okay and one more thing i would say is okay you do all of this what if you don't get shortlisted so don't give up hope here okay because an evaluator can be in any mindset so there may be competition who are doing better than you. So it's always winner or learner here. It's never a loser when it comes to hackathon. So you'll be getting a new experience. You'll be learning a lot of stuff. So if you have a proper team coordination, actually the hackathon is half one already. Okay, so you will be learning from your mistakes and that can help you in the upcoming hackathons and stuff. Don't think that I'm giving an advice or something. It's a kind of thing which I learned from my past defeats and stuff. And that's why I'm standing here as Smart India Hackathon 2022 winner. Okay, and uh, uh, that's all for this video today. And 
thank you i have been receiving a lot of ppt review that shows the level of trust you have on us and we are trying our best to give our suggestions in best by reviewing each ppt and there are certain ppt still are left to be reviewed and we will be getting done at the earliest and if you need your ppt review feel free to drop a mail at code hunters 2020 at gmail.com and if you have any other clarifications feel free to comment we are there to help you out don't worry that uh, there is no guidance for you we are there to help you all